Itchy eyes, runny nose, sneezing, congestion. Yes, tis the season for seasonal allergies. It is here again, my friends. So in today's video, I am going to share with you some reasons behind why it's happening and some things that you can do about it in a natural way. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about seasonal allergies. I know lots of patients who are suffering this time of year. Today, I'm gonna to give you some insights onto why that's happening. As with everything in the natural world, we're trying to figure out, well, what's the root cause? Why is this thing happening in the first place? Instead of just running out and taking something to cover it up, let's figure out why it could be happening. So one of the main reasons for allergies comes down to what's going on in your gut. Most of our immune system is within our gut, at least 70%. So if you have issues with your gut, chances are you're gonna be more susceptible to having allergies overall, whether it's seasonal allergies, food allergies, any type of allergy in general. So you really have to look to the gut. So one part of this is intestinal permeability or leaky gut. This is a very common occurrence that many people have due to a variety of factors from medicinal overuse or bad dietary habits or stress. There's lots of reasons for leaky gut, but this contributes to the immune system being not as strong and also to eventually having seasonal allergies or allergies overall. So anytime you can enhance your gut, you're gonna really help your allergies. Okay, another concept involved in this is histamine reactions. Obviously that's what's happening when you have allergies. Your histamine reactions are strong and you get the symptoms. So a lot of that too is foods that have a lot of histamine in them or the body has a difficult time clearing the histamines. So it's, it's more than one concept. Avoiding histamine foods or foods that are high in histamine could also be very beneficial. Um, one of the main foods that are high in histamines are aged or fermented foods. And I know they have a lot of benefits because you hear about that all the time, about the probiotic benefits of them. But if you're having a problem with histamine and allergies, you may need to avoid those for a while. And then on the other side of the coin, just to help the leaky gut overall, you need to avoid foods that are inflammatory. So there's lots of foods out there that could be causing gut reactions and causing inflammation. Now this is gonna vary from person to person, but some of the big culprits in the inflammation department with food are things like gluten and grains, uh, dairy products, especially pasteurized dairy, sugar, even alcohol. Uh, and then in addition to the alcohol part, if you're drinking wine, the sulfates in the wine also can contribute to the whole histamine reaction. Avoiding foods that are big triggers for inflammation is really, really critical. And then on the supplement side, well actually before I get to that, another thing you can actually add into your diet to enhance the reaction to the allergies is local honey. Uh, this also will help you with the seasonal part. Just get some honey that's local to your region. It's sort of a, a remedy that has been used for a long time and it's very, very beneficial. So now in our clinic, we do a combination of things. We use dietary approach and we use supplements and we use acupuncture. So let's get into the supplements first. Uh, we use a company called Standard Process mostly and MediHerb. So on the Standard Process side, we use a product called Antronex, which is a natural antihistamine that works by helping the liver clear out the histamines. So that's sort of the mechanism of how it works and it works really good actually. And then sometimes we use along with that a product called CalAmo, which is an acidifier. And believe it or not, acidifying um, your body can sometimes be beneficial, especially for allergies. So the combination of those two is really, really good together. And then on the herbal side, from many herbs, we use a product called Albizia Complex, which contains three herbs, Chinese skullcap, feverfew, and Albizia. This also is great for allergies overall, not just seasonal allergies, any type of allergy or histamine response. So these are three of the main products that we use, sometimes combined, sometimes separately. And then for people who come into our clinic, we use acupuncture very frequently because that, uh, acupuncture can immediately give you relief, to, especially to your sinuses. If you are having a trouble breathing, you can immediately get relief from an acupuncture treatment and be able to breathe better again. Um, it, and it helps overall by boosting the immune system, increasing blood flow. So acupuncture overall is very beneficial. So regular treatments around allergy season, 
is a really good way to keep allergies away or prevent them. So we highly recommend if you have an acupuncturist nearby that you try that in addition to the dietary approach. All right, guys, I wanna hear from you now. Please let me know what you do for your seasonal allergies. Also, if you have any ideas for further videos, please let me know in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Again, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you soon. Take care.